Hey y'all, as the season starts to cool off, we all start thinking about baking again. So today I thought I would make an oat flour pie crust. This is an easy gluten-free pie crust that you can make and you can use it for your sweet and savory pies. Today I'm actually gonna make a sweet pie crust and put a little sugar in the recipe, but leave that out if you're making a savory pie. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay guys, to start our pie crust, first we need to get a nine inch pie plate. This is a glass one. And in addition to this, I've also preheated the oven. You wanna preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So with our pie plate, we wanna grease it. So use whichever oil or grease you like to use. I'm using a little bit of shortening today. I just feel that it gives a better coverage for me to make sure I get the entire thing and I don't have little oil spots that part of it is and part of it is not. Once that's done, we can set that to the side for a moment. Now we've got our oat flour and today I'm using Arrowhead Mills and there's also a little bit of Bob's Red Mill in here because I finished one bag and started the other. So if you are gluten-free, make sure that your brand says gluten-free because oats is one of those grains that they can be cross-contamination and you don't want to have any issues with it because you just grabbed a bag that did not say certified gluten-free. So make sure you are using certified gluten-free oat flour if you have issues with oats. So to that one and a fourth cup of oat flour, we are going to add a tablespoon of sugar. And again, if you are not making a sweet pie filling, then leave this out. Add that in. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of just fine white salt. You could use Himalayan salt if you wanted. So we wanna add a fourth a teaspoon of that. I'm gonna take my fork and just give it a quick blend. And all of these ingredients should be cold. So my flour is cold. My next two ingredients are cold. The salt and sugar wasn't but I figure that's not gonna make a big difference. So now that that's done, we wanna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So get all that in there. And we wanna start off with four tablespoons or two ounces of ice cold water. And if we need a little bit more, we can add it. And then get everything a good mix with your fork. If you find that your fork is starting to bog down like mine is, go in there with your hand. So we wanna make sure we get all of that flour incorporated. Once we have it all together in a ball, we wanna bring our pie plate back over and you wanna press it into your pie plate. So just take a few minutes and work it in evenly and up the sides. And guys, if you're looking for other gluten-free pie crust options. I also have a couple videos for other, other types. So there is a vanilla wafer gluten-free pie crust on the channel. There is also, if you are the type that can have Cheerios, I know some people can and some people can't. My wife can have Cheerios and not have any issues, but I know a lot of people that are gluten-free cannot but if you are one of the ones that can eat Cheerios, I also have a recipe for a honey nut Cheerio crust. That is also on the website, so be sure to check that out. And guys, once you've spent a few minutes and you've gotten it as even as you can, I didn't have any extra, so there'll be no fancy edges on this, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I think the main point is to hold our pie filling. So if you are going to do a hot pie, like if you were doing a Dutch apple or something like that, you would add your filling in and bake your pie. I am doing a cold pie with this. So I am going to take my fork and poke some holes in it, just like you would a regular pie crust with gluten to keep it from puffing up. 
And we're gonna pop this in the oven and bake it in for 18 to 20 minutes until it's light brown or a little brown and we wanna make sure it's cooked. And then I will show you what it looks like once it's out of the oven. Okay guys, here's our oat flour pie crust. It's done, it's cooling. As soon as it's cool, you're ready to go. So what do you guys think of this pie crust? Would you guys make it? It's an easy recipe. It's only like, what, four or five ingredients. You probably have most of it on hand. Let me know what you think in the comments below, please. Again, please consider subscribing. I wanna thank you all for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks guys.